excuse me, uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, there will there will eventually be uh, dinosaurs on this on this dinosaur tour, huh? On this hunt, we had the opportunity to go to West Texas, where we got the chance to get up close and personal with some big old wild boar. We got to see all kinds of other wildlife and got our first exposure to West Texas weather. We hunted 8,000 acres in a high ride, which can be dangerous. We're stranded literally two weeks from everywhere. You can't make this stuff up. We got to play with all kinds of gear, thermals, night vision, got great instruction, and we made some amazing friends in the process. We'll tell you all about it. We were invited to a ranch in West Texas by awesome folks from the YouTube channel, The Way We Hunt. So congrats guys, you're coming to Texas with us. Just like that, we were on our way, but right from the start, just getting to the ranch was a problem. Let me just catch you guys up. After a shelter in place order in the Dallas airport, we had three flight delays, finally a cancellation, lost luggage, no rental cars, had to Uber from Dallas to Abilene, right through wildfires, and finally, Ryan and Emily drove all the way to Abilene to pick us up and take us to the ranch in the middle of the night. We're not off to a strong start. After a quick night's sleep, finally at the ranch, we were excited to see what Texas was all about. I've always noticed how people from Texas are all about being from Texas, and I never understood why until I experienced it. You just can't help but feel your heart rate slow down with all the wide open spaces and beautiful scenery in every direction. It just feels like somewhere you're meant to be. The ranch and lodge were amazing, and we are so grateful to the owners for opening their doors to us sight unseen. We couldn't wait to check out the property and all of its wildlife from a high ride or tower truck. If you've never hunted from a high ride, this was an experience. We're used to still hunting in timber, so to cover this much ground from an elevated position was a real treat. And the ranch had a ton to see. Man, it was amazing. Several of these species we'd never laid eyes on before. But we weren't hunting on the ranch. We were hunting on a neighboring property with no fences. So we made our preparations and waited for sundown. So we just turned off the county road and we turned onto some private. We're on about, I don't know, it's there's sections, about 8,000 acres of private. So we're just gonna ride along here and scan in these fields with these thermals. And see if we can't locate a sounder or two of these pigs, and then we'll jump up top in these tower trucks and see if we can't get a shot on them at night. The fun part of starting, we get to make a stalk through these fields. Eric thinks there's a hog out there about 300 yards, but he's not for sure. Right or left? Right. I think it's a cow. 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 Down. Ah! Yeah, it tells me. There's a I'll lengthy debate going on right now about who's actually driving this truck. That's usually a straightforward question. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, there's two steering wheels. One just happened to be 15 feet above the other one. I'm concerned about both potential candidates' qualifications <laughs> after the debate that we just had. We climbed up top in the high ride for a better vantage point, hoping to spot a sounder of pigs far enough in the distance they wouldn't be aware of the truck. Bunch of Cows. Even on a well-lit night, there's a limit to how far you can see. We were really fortunate that our new friends had some cutting-edge thermal gear to help spot these pigs. We might have hogs straight ahead. We're gonna turn right and go check that field. Let's go check it out. Each promising sign turned up empty. They are deer. Best we could figure, the change in weather had impacted their nightly patterns. So we decided to call it a night, head back to the ranch. But we had to find a way to fill the time. I'd rather have too much on than not enough. <laughs> oh, heck, hold on a minute. Anything from the shot. Right. Life and limb. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta hang on just a little longer. In addition to being awesome folks, the folks from The Way We Hunt are long-range shooting instructors, and we could always use more instruction. Water's ready. Shooter's ready. Send it. Okay, so you see these slash marks? Mm -hmm. In addition to letting us play with their awesome gear, they were nice enough to give us a few pointers along the way, too. You're thumping it. Thumping it? You're is that a good thing? It. That's a good thing. Okay, yeah. Learning is fun. I really like it. Yeah, this makes me feel like I could really get into like being a sniper, right? While they were busy on the range, Ryan and I opted for something that was a little bit more primitive. Oh! oh 
got it down now. Uh oh. <laughs> now that I figured out it's not a baseball. While we waited for nightfall, that West Texas weather had more surprises in store. Is that Well, we're in good spirits <laughs> for day two. Tonight's the night. Tonight's, Tonight's the night. night. Tearing back down this road where we almost ran over that pig last night. Turns out that was our best chance. <laughs> best chance of the night. Once we made it to the ranch, we took some time to make a plan for the night. We reflected on what didn't work the night before. It turns out we already had some things working against us on night two. Emily didn't bring any headlamps tonight. Either. She wore both of them last night. Well, you didn't bring any either. You were sleeping. I was doing everything else. It's fair. That's fair. Yeah. The, the moon is actually coming up. Light. Where we're going. We don't need lights. We just got to the ranch and about half the crew is up in the high rack on top. The best part of the crew is down here because last night we got burned. Um, it's kind of a weird deal. The, the weather the last two days has been super, super weird. It, two, like ex one extreme to another, like gale force, 50 mile an hour winds. You all right? Sand and crap. Texas getting to you? Plus Texas weather. That was in my mouth. I think, it, I think the weather just had everything screwed up, but today is a lot like yesterday, so hopefully they're back on their schedule. I am ghost driving the truck. I'm using the force, but it's so nice to be So they spotted a lone boar um, as we were driving on the run. They got a couple shots at him. Didn't hit him because he was on the run. And so we've essentially circled this great big section to come around and try to cut him off. Uh, John, I think he's got the gun, so I'm assuming John. Eric spotted a good sized boar out by himself over at 3 o'clock back over there. I think he was about 200 out. Felt decent about at least the aim point on the first shot, but there was a lot of. I can still see through this, even through this thermal, I can see a bunch of tree branches and crabs. Some thick stuff between me and him. First shot definitely didn't make impact. He turned and started running off, so I squeezed off a second one, but no good on either one of them. So at this point, we're just kind of waiting here to see if we can catch him stepping out into a clearing. My sense is at this point, though, that he's he was moving. And he heard the truck too. Yeah, but that's that's one of the first times I've heard I've seen a pig react to the truck. Yeah, and with those two rounds, I think he probably got in this thick stuff and settled down once he knew he was safe. And at this point, the wind's at our back. It's blowing right up the back of my neck right now, where it was in our face on the other side of this. So, not too optimistic. We may have to press on here in a second. Turns out we didn't have to go much further before another opportunity presented itself. There's two coyotes. Several yards away and we're trying to see if we can call them up out of that out of the, that creek bottom up this way and they both kind of moved off up that hill and into the woods so we got out the predator calls at least the ones we have on our phone and uh the coyotes haven't reappeared but we're seeing something over here we're thinking it's either a cat or a coyote i think it's about 350 yards out right now it was moving now it's just stopped so might be a big, you know what I mean? Pretty big. It's thick. Yeah. It's thick with two C's. <laughs> Respectfully. Thick. She's thick. She thick. In a good way. In the best way. Whatever was out there wasn't responding to the calls. We assessed the wind and the terrain and made plans for a stalk. We have to go over the same fence whether we go that way or that way. Between here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You coming? We took a route that would keep the wind in our favor, but we had to walk a long way to do it. We stopped every so often to scan the area with our thermals and reassess. Why was 12 o'clock? It'd probably be like 1.30. Oh, right over there. Yeah. We've, we've came about 300 yards, and we're trying to sneak up on whatever's over here. It looked from that far out with this monocular. It looked like a pig feeding. Spencer climbed up a ladder here trying to get a better vantage point 
It turned out the only wildlife we encountered on that stalk was one ticked off turkey on a tree limb. I think we were all starting to wonder if we were going to see any hogs at all. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, there will there will eventually be uh, dinosaurs on this on this dinosaur tour, huh? I really hate that man. <laughs> We're never going to kill anything. The longer we went without seeing hogs, we started to get a little punchy. We're over here. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? But we pressed on. A mistake in one area on a ranch this size would not yes, booger the whole hunt. And then, They're multiple pigs in the distance. Like 600 yards. They're a long way out there. Why would you do that? I was sitting because I was filming. <laughs> I can't see anything because I'm short. <laughs> That's she amazing. What happened? No more. <laughs> Are you seriously okay? It's oh yeah, no, I'm fine. My left cheek hurts a little bit, but we're good. <laughs> what broke my fall? Nothing broke your fall. 15 feet down <laughs> broke your fall. Now that I know that you're okay, that was hilarious. This is just a reminder of how high up Emily was when she fell. I have no idea how she wasn't seriously injured. And it's a good thing she wasn't, because we were hours from medical attention. I'll give her this. Emily is as tough as nails. We collected ourselves and hit the trail again. We rode through what looked like a canyon with loose rock on either side that opened up on the left into a big field, divided by a ditch. We spotted a pig moving to our right and chased him up a huge hill on a bad wind and lost him. It was a desperation play that didn't pay off, until we turned around. From our elevated position, we could see pigs entering the field way off to our left, past where we drove in. It was getting late. We made plans for one final stalk. This time, the wind would be in our faces. But we had to hurry. We were a quarter mile up that hill with still more field to cross, and we didn't want to lose him. I think we all knew this might be our last chance. We went as quick and quiet as we could, but he must have been coming to us at the same time, because when we looked up, he was right on top of us. Shoot him. Hey, demand fire. Back. Nice. I got him. You got him? I got him. Hang on. Stay on. Stay on. Give him another. That sounded like impact. Yeah, that they just chilly whopped him. Hey, how about uh, that? that from awesome. Going from spotting from the top oh of a God. mountain. I don't know how far that was from up there. Probably. That's over a quarter mile. That's that's sure. a long way. What time is it? It's business time. Is what time it is. There's pigs on this pig tour. <laughs> <laughs> so probably a quarter of a mile up on this knoll, we hiked up, and nearly had a heart attack, <laughs> just where we could see everything down in this in this field and um i think we saw a couple that we thought were pigs way off in the distance and this one man that's a godsend right there he was close Ooh. enough and and we snuck into 50 yards from 50 him. yards yeah, from that we pig Stealth we mode. we went this way tracking a pig that went into a a patch of timber over here the wind was wrong wrong for that but then we went on up to the top where we could see down in here the wind was absolutely right coming this way he had no clue we were here until right Boom. here at the end and the guns went off so yeah and you guys were ready you did I a great was job man so pumped you All guys right. did a great job getting us here i'm telling you Ooh, i'm <laughs> let's, excited let's go, let's go see him. this pig thank you jesus <laughs> <laughs> thank the lord Ooh, dude that is a huge pig oh man all we had to survive in order to make this happen we had to climb a mountain we did we had Emily a beloved member of our crew <laughs> survive a fall from a cliff <laughs> and what a trip getting out here too all worthwhile right. right yeah airplanes high winds wildfires ubers i mean uh, you just know it's just meant to be yeah thank you guys very much yeah man. well i'm just glad that you guys got one <laughs> it was hey, you guys, touch and go it was john got him or afton got him that that's the best a, way to do it isn't it yes. yeah that's the best way to do it hey. my butt cheek hurt so bad walking up that mountain oh. <laughs> i was like ow 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 i feel so bad for you. Are you gonna i feel, feel that like tomorrow. you're fortunate to have been walking up that mountain yeah, yeah. As excited as we were to harvest that pig, little did we know, the night was kind of just beginning. Let's go around the cactus. Yeah. Hey, we got problems. What? No, no, it just died. 
Battery's dead. You're messing with us. I promise. It was running. How did it die? It's all right. Or at least we're in the like very back. Oh lord. <laughs> if if we walk back to the gate and then back, I think it's 4.9 miles from the gate. Three, two, five, <laughs> we're never gonna be invited back. Wherever we go, hell falls with us. So I don't I'm just pumped about my pig. Yeah. Current situation, wow. we're stranded. Lights, lights, lights. We're saved, we're saved. <laughs> Our salvation has arrived. To my amazement, the landowner was awake at four o'clock in the morning and came straight to help us. It's alive. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you so you. much. Ecstatic from our hunt and relieved to be rescued, we gathered our harvest and made it to the lodge just before sunrise. The last one. As tired as we were, we still had to know who shot first. So who shot first? I did. Definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not before he was running. He was running. It's fun to listen to other people argue about who shot first when it's not you. It's awesome. Nice job, baby. Yeah. Nice job. It threw her off ever since I did that. At this point, we had more food than we could possibly eat. So we called people over and we cooked and cooked and cooked some more. We spent most of the rest of our time in Texas eating, showing each other our favorite recipes and laughing. But we had a little bit more time. With a pig down already, we climbed back in the trucks to try rabbit hunting, Texas style. What? What? Out of all the places we've been and all the things we've tried, I honestly can't remember a time when we've had more fun hunting. Our first trip to Texas was full of new experiences, new people, and side-splitting laughs. Awesome! <laughs> this is the best trip of my life. This is fantastic. The thing I'll remember most about Texas is the kindness of strangers. Whether it's the rancher who we'd never met, offering his land and spending weeks scouting hogs for us, the man who rescued us at 4 a.m., the family that opened their doors to us to give us an amazing place to stay, or the folks who invited us to Texas and drove us across the state to have this experience. We count them all as very close friends. And make sure you check out the way we hunt. You might just get a chance to hunt with them in the future. We'll see you next time. God bless. That's a wrap.